law and doing your law. Amen. 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 That's what the battle of the kings is in this Parsha. <laughs> There's no outward mark of victory without a battle of kings, and you're going to battle kings. Okay. Your enemies are going to be not only of your own household, they're going to be of your own household, your own family, and your own denomination. It's like I keep picking on my brother because you're here today, man. You. He told me last year, you think we got troubles? Can we talk? You think we got problems? In the Sukkot last year, he had government helicopters flying around, checking out what they were doing. <laughs> am, I, am I right? Huh? Every day. They have. Go they think he's a. Mu they a Muslim cult oh. in Trinidad. This is battling the kings. How is he going to become a tikkun olam to the Caribbean and to all the nations unless he f doesn't fight and get and get built up and, and, and tough, toughened in the battle of the kings? They, they have government hella. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Government helicopters checking out his his Sukkot. Wow. And we, we, we can't go to Sukkot. Why? It's raining. Oh, darling. Well, no, I don't have my umbrella. We got to stay home. Wow. <laughs> how, about, how about having government helicopters photographing you? You are? <laughs> That's what it means to press forward for the mark. Amen. Amen. If, 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 if brother if brother Aspen is going to become a tikkun haolam, his 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 personage, his congregation, everything about him has to be a restorer, and then he'll be sent to the he'll be molded and shaped, yeah. and prepared. What are you saying to him? Yes. Yes. Dossier. Don't worry, you're on every FBI file too, brother. <laughs> Don't laugh too hard. <laughs> Mighty Yahoo 24-4. Mighty Yahoo 24-4. We close with this. Thank you for your indulgence. I, I've been feeling a little preachy today. Mighty Yahoo 24-4. And Yahshua answered. No, I'm sorry, go back to more. They went out, they departed, they came and said to him, Master, what shall be the sign of thy coming? Verse 3. And the end of the Olam Hazen. The age. Yeshua said, take heed, no man deceive. Many will come in my name, many kings. I'm talking about the battle of the kings. Many will come in my name saying, I am Moshiach king. And will deceive many. And you shall shema. How will you shema? If you're doing the Torah and you're in the faith, you'll shema. If you think everything is okay because you're having a potluck lunch on Sunday at 12, you won't shema when the kings come for your for lot. You won't shema because you're not shema the simple moadim that, you, that are in the, in the simple things Amen. today. Amen. <clears throat> shema. You will shema of wars. There's a physical, physical wars, not spiritual. You will hear Shema of wars and rumors of war. See that you be not troubled or become foolish. For all these things must come, must come to pass. Notice Amen. Yahweh has ordained it. They must come to pass. Why? Why must they? Why do they have to be death and suffering? Because the cataclysmic events in your life are designed to make you who Yahweh has destined you to become. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. For nation shall rise against nation, the battle of the kings. And Malchut against Malchut, there it is, battle of the kings. There shall be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. That means, listen, they are taking place to see if you are Shema. Because if you don't Shema, you won't get the mark of the high calling of restoration. Not just the blood of Yeshua, not just the Torah, not just being Jewish, Hallelujah. but the full message of Tikkun. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Why will there be Iraq wars, Iran wars? Why will there be more wars than George Bush and the next politicians will send us into? Why? These things must come to pass. Not for them, for the child of Yahweh. To see if you're shmine the Torah and the signs of the times. They must come to pass. Must come to pass. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. But these are the beginning of sorrows. Or in Hebrew, what is that called? Shivlei HaMoshiach, or the... The birth pains of the Moshiach's coming, the labor pains. 
not the actual birth. Baruch Hashem Yom. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So the kingdoms, and we close with this second close. Oh, first close, 1B. <laughs> the kingdoms fighting each other, meaning the, the, the U.S., Iraq, Afghanistan war, it is. There's an axis of evil here. George Bush said it. U.S., Afghanistan, Iraq, and next is Iran, trust me. The only, the only country that won't get touched is Saudi Arabia because they're, they're George's friends. So we won't go there, okay? Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Syria. Bashir Assad knows he's next. He knows it. Gaddafi knew he was next. He's coming clean. Mm -hmm. This is going to be war. We're going to be not just we're going to be seeing wars of the of the Christ, Judeo-Christian nations against the Islamic nations. We're going to hear of wars that are yet to happen. But it happened in Abraham's day. And what was the result in Abraham's day? It brought those who were destined to be tikkun ha'olam, it brought them the physical and the spiritual temperament needed to restore the world, to restore their life, to restore their families, and to bring tikkun. So while we hear all these wars, and it's going to be Judeo-Christianity versus radical Islam. And while we hear all these wars, no, well, look at what Yeshua said. Look, relax. Look. They must come to pass. Why? Why? Because while they're fighting, you're being built up into a warrior and a restorer of the breach. Because within those Islamic nations, there are lots of Israelites that are waiting to hear your message. They're waiting to hear your redemption. They're waiting to hear your good news. They're waiting to hear the Bisharot. So all the, the people will be stirred to look for answers. And by that time, you ought to be fully harmonized in the spirit in the physical, and by that time, even fully circumcised. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for your tough word to us today. Is prayer, come forward, please. Sister Tehila, if you would. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Brother Ted, if you would, please come forward. Yahweh. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for the Tikkun HaOlam, a study in the life of Abraham. Ah, but we've seen today how clearly that even the battle of the kings. Notice that Abraham was a king's child. And he does not just fight, but he fought other kings for the same territory, for the souls of the lots who have left their tribal clan, who have gone away from monotheism and Yahweh and Torah and the blood of Yeshua. And he sent Abraham to wage war. And then he said, as you are, so shall your descendants be. Warriors, realizing they are just vessels of clay, fit and meat for the master's use. Dust. Your descendants will not just be kings, but the irony is that these kings will be malt dust, dependent on me, fully on me. So, Abba, we thank you and we praise you for this word you've given us. You've challenged us. You've confirmed in us. You've built up in us that we also would run the race set before us. Redeeming the time for the days are evil. And be filled with the Ruach HaKodesh while we're redeeming the time. Meaning to harmonize our earth, our land, with your Ruach. To be like our father Abraham who realizes it's not just knowing Yahweh, it's a matter of allowing Yahweh to harmonize the spirit realm, the Kadosh, with the mundane, with this dirt, this dirt, this dirt. And so Father, we thank you for this. We thank you for what you've done on this, this wonderful Shabbat. We give you kol ha-kavod, kol b'shem Yeshua HaMashiach. The call key lad Yisrael in Ru. Amen. Very amen. Brother Ted, come forward.
nations praise Yahweh. All nations praise Yahweh. Baruch HaBamishem Yahweh. Blessed is he who comes, Baruch HaBah B'Shem Yahweh. Blessed is he who is coming, in the name of Yahweh. The storm. has become the chief cornerstone has become the chief cornerstone and this is from Blessed is he who comes, Baruch Abah B'Shem Yahweh. Blessed is he who is coming, in the name of Blessed is he who comes, Baruch Abah B'Shem Yahweh. Blessed is he who is coming, in the name of Yahweh.
Yeah.